It was a painful day in an Oslo courtroom today. Last summer's mass murder in Norway was the focus as the trial for the confessed killer began. 77 people died in two targeted attacks, including dozens of young people. As Adrian Arsenault reports, the killer's actions were born of a wider ideology, which some fear is gaining support around the world. His opening salvo was a type of Nazi salute. Anders Breivik sending his message to a Norwegian court that he intends to enjoy every minute of his 10-week trial. Taking stock of all who came to watch, wearing a smirk that rarely left his face. How cruel this must seem to those who surely still flinch at all that he did. And there is no doubt he did it. Setting off a car bomb killing eight in Norway's government district last summer. Then, dressed as a policeman, coldly stalking, shooting, killing 69 young Norwegians at a Labour Party camp. Both shots to the head entered on the right side. It took prosecutors almost an hour to read the details of each injury to each of his victims. Breivik seemed utterly unmoved. But when the court started going through his history, playing excerpts of a propaganda film he made, that's when the tears came. Likely all about the intensity of his beliefs, said his lawyer. Breivik seized every moment to make a political statement, including telling a judge he didn't recognize the court's authority. I do not recognize the Norwegian court. You've gotten your mandate from political parties who support multiculturalism. A caution from those who study extremism and insist Breivik's actions are singularly evil, but his ideology gaining support from groups globally. They are growing, and they are growing in importance as well. If we see, particularly in Europe, uh, but also I think in, in the US as well, we're, we're seeing the rise of kind of cultural the cultural wars, um, identity wars. Some worry this trial will become a platform for Breivik, but the courts are determined to keep his rants from public view. Many who survived his rampage see the trial as something to survive too. It feels like something is kind of undone here, uh, that I can't really start moving on with my life before this is done. So what to make of Breivik? Were his the actions of a madman? That's not entirely clear. One psychiatric assessment declared him insane, another said quite the opposite. Now it's up to the judges to decide. And Breivik very much wants the courts to conclude he was of the clearest of minds when he committed the cruelest of deeds. Adrian Arsenault, CBC News, London.